Are you looking for a place to hunt large trophy deer in Bucks County, Pennsylvania? We have such a place. It's called Highland Hill Farm. It's a tree farm and a tree farm attracts a lot of deer. In fact, so many deer that we have a deer hunter program. Each year we allow hunters access to our properties in order to thin out and cull out the herds of deer that we have. We usually ask that you bring something that the farm can use. It might be something strange. It could be PVC pipe. It could be old broken chainsaws. It could be this year you could bring us a hydrant or a bunch of old bobcat tires that are still good. But whatever you bring, we want you to bring something that you do not buy. We want to make this a scavenger hunt. You scavengerize your garage, your barn, your shop. Bring us something that you no longer need that we could use on our farm and you can hunt for the day. We have four separate parcels in Bucks County for which we allow hunting. Some of them are well fenced to keep the deer out, but they manage to get in. When a deer does get into an area that's fenced, we put out a newsletter email alert to alert you that there's a deer that's trapped. We don't want the deer. Maybe you do. There's enough deer on this farm that we, can, we would never have to go to the store again to get beef. There's all kinds of items that we need on the farm. I also collect decoys. But if you have something that we can use, we'd be more than willing to take it. We use a lot of pipe, both PVC, poly pipe. We also need things like nails and nuts and bolts. And we also use this year quite a few hose clamps. Believe it or not, last year we asked people to bring 25 hose clamps to hunt for the day and we used up about 60 of them just this week in putting in a water line that we put in. So a lot of things that you have in your garage or shop that you're no longer using, we can use. Why throw it out when you can use it to go hunting with? Hence, we're having our scavenger hunt. Last year there were about 20 deer taken off the farm here in Fountainville. We were glad to get rid of them. In fact, we even have on the farm a four-poster deer feeder that feeds the deer and also treats them for the Lyme disease. We use the four-poster feeder in areas where the deer don't do much damage to trees and the area is not fenced. We realize that treating the deer for the Lyme tick is a great way to get rid of Lyme disease and Lyme ticks that are all around this area. It's cheaper for us to treat the deer than to pay workman's comp when our men get infected with the Lyme disease. I hope you can understand that in this video I'm not asking you to go buy anything. You may have scraps in your barn or barn uh, uh, garage items that you no longer use. You can bring them. Last year people brought us brand new posts. We're not asking that you bring us any brand new posts. We would like you to go out and find something that's no longer needed and bring it to us and then we will reuse it. Why buy new when you can just recycle? We have a lot of deer on the farm and we do have other deer feeders. And we also put salt blocks out in certain areas as well. The deer will stay in the areas where they're fed and that makes it easier for you. We don't want them, so we put them in an area where they'll all be shot and I hope you come and I hope you get your deer. We certainly don't want it. And if you look at the deer in this picture, it looks awful. This particular deer has a set of warts on it. So we have all kinds of deer for you. This video is brought to you by Highland Hill Farm. We grow and sell screening and buffering trees for privacy and sound barriers. This video is brought to you by Highland Hill Farm. We grow and sell screening and buffering trees for privacy and sound barriers.